I'm Anil Kumar and in this word problem we will try to understand how to solve a problem in which we have currency involved and we have pennies, nickels, dimes and quarters in this question. Question is Diana has $8.48 in quarters, dimes, nickels and pennies. She has the same number of quarters as pennies. The number of nickels is three times the number of quarters. There are four more dimes than quarters. How many of each type of coin does Diana have? So let's define our variable and say let the number of coins be. Let's use Q for quarters, D for dimes, N for nickel and P for pennies. Now quarters is 25 cents, dime is 10 cents, nickel is 5 cents and pennies 1 cent. She has the same number of quarters as pennies. So we can start writing our equations. Same number of quarters as pennies, that means first equation is Q equals to P. The number of nickels is three times the number of quarters. Is three times the number of quarters. There are four more dimes than quarters. So there are more four more dimes than quarters. So the dimes are four more than quarters. So we get all these equations, right? How many of each type of coin does Diana have? So now we know all in terms of one another. Now what we can do actually is we can write all in terms of Q, the quarters, because pennies and quarters are also of the same number, right? So let's get the value of the money which we have. So we'll solve on the right side and then write down answer here. Total value is $4.48, right? So value means what? That means if we add these number of quarters, dimes and nickels, we should get $4.48. Now each quarter is 25 cents. So we can say 0 0.25 times a quarter plus dime is 10 cents, right? 0 0.10 times the dime, nickel is 5 cents, 0 0.05 nickels, not 50, okay, plus penny is 1, so 0 0.01 penny, all this is equal to 400, $4.48, right? So that is how we can write. Well, at times you can also convert them to, you know, pennies or cents and then do without decimals. That is an option. Okay, so let's do in decimal numbers this time. So now we know we can write everything in terms of quarters. So let's leave this quarter 0 0.25 as such, right? So we have 0 0.25 quarters plus how many dimes? Dime is quarters plus four. So we get 0 0.1, we can write 1 itself, okay, dimes is quarters plus 4, plus 0 0.05 nickels, so 0 0.05, and nickel is 3 quarters, 3 quarters, plus pennies, pennies are equal to quarters, so we can write 0 0.01 quarter, right, so number of pennies is same as number of quarters, correct? And all this is equals to 4.48, correct? Now we have equation which has only quarters in it. Do you see that? So, so it's easier for us to solve it now, correct? So let's count how many quarters we have. So now I'll write this as 0 0.25 quarters plus 0 0.1 quarter. We have a number here which is 0 0.1 times 4, which is 0 0.4, plus 0 0.3 times 0 0.05 gives us 1 5 quarter, plus 0 0.01 quarter, right? And all this is equals to 4.48. Let's combine these quarters now. So it is 0.25, so what you can do is we can write on the side and add them up, correct? So that we don't make a mistake here. So we have 0 0.25 quarters, then 0 0.1 quarter, and then 1 5, 0 0.15, let me write 1 0 here, 
and then 0 1 0 0.01 add them up 10 1 11 1 here 3 4 5 0 there so 0 0.51 so we get 0 0.51 quarter plus a number here 0 0.4 now we have an equation with one variable we can solve for quarters now. So we can write here 0 0.51 quarters is equals to 4.48 minus 0 0.4 which is 4.08. Now quarters is 4.08 divided by 0 0.51. So at this stage we can take the calculator divide 4.08 by 0 0.51 and the number is 8 for us 8 so number of quarters which we get are 8 so we know q is equals to 8 so number of quarters is 8 now we can use this number here and write all our answers right so what do we get we get q equals to 8 and since p is equals to q so pennies are also 8 in number how many nickels nickels are 3 times 8 that is 24 nickels and dimes are 8 plus 4 8 plus 4 which is 12 so we get our answer that there are 8 quarters 8 pennies 24 nickels and 12 dimes so that is how you should be solving this question. I hope that helps. Thank you.